What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video, another day, another dollar. And we're going to be breaking down our futures contract. Uh, we're going to quickly break down our 30 minute time frame. We're going to go over our larger time frames, the monthly, the weekly, and the daily as we've started a new week. Uh, and coming into the end of the year, end of the month, just kind of go over a few things there. Uh, we'll mark some destinations, kind of update you guys. As I uh, left you guys off on Friday with an inside day, non wide point of control, uh, high day, and uh, the low day. That was pretty much all we had. It was a very choppy session Friday. Uh, then we come in yesterday, Monday, opened up with a gap, came in, filled in port part of the gap, left a couple ticks on that gap. Uh, so that gap yesterday from yesterday's low was 47.80.25. And that gap gets filled at 47.79.50, Friday's high. So we came out of an inside day up, right? Uh, we go with it and monitor it for continuation. So far, we've gotten some pretty good continuation as we grinded higher all day long yesterday, but only go out with the high and the low of the day with the gap. Um, but on top of that, we got closer to the all-time high. Then today, we open up inside of the previous day's range and boom explode to the upside get the all-time high in the first time frame and set a new high for the uh for the es all all the indices have hit all-time highs except for the uh the russell okay though nasdaq has been at all-time highs the dow jones keeps hitting all-time highs now the es is all at all-time high so spy back to all-time highs here as we've grinded up all day long today attempted to go trend but we set highs today around the 4817 level and then just slightly probed here just a minute ago uh in m period the last time frame of the day at 4817.50 uh so pretty awesome to see that um so our previous all-time high was 4808.25 something very interesting in this range in my opinion is after we uh, went up, try to go trend, right? Uh, couldn't necessarily hold trend by holding single prints. That's only held some 35% of the time, right? Um, but something very interesting and mechanical that's happened is after we one time framed up, we started to get a little bit of a pullback. But when we did pull back, look at C's low, look at F's low, look at H's low, all at 4808.25, which was the previous all time high. That's just absolutely bonkers, right? Uh, or not bonkers, but it's just it goes to show you how mechanical this market can be. So we pulled back to those levels and held them in three different time frames. OK, three different time frames. We pulled back to that level and we held that. Now, that was a previous month's high as well. Right. That was January of 2022's high. And we've you know, we broke above it. We pulled back and we've held above it for three time or we came back to it three different time frames and bounced off of that pretty good uh resulting in near the high or setting a new all-time high like we have in M period now we still have about eight minutes left to go in this time frame uh as i'm making this video towards the end of the day uh so we could probe up and set a new high uh for the year and for the uh es at all-time highs could continue to push up here um late in the time frame and if it does then we'll mark that here in just a minute another interesting thing was once we did pull back or broke out we pulled back in b period and we uh whenever we did pull back we held 4802.25 the previous day's high so not only were there two uh two instances of mechanical buying in this market uh it just you know it's just impressive to see this grind we go out with a pretty much what looks to be a p shape so uh p shapes typically in the profile world uh signify a short covering so maybe we have longer term shorts that are covering which continue to provide the bid on uh whenever we do have these pullbacks right mechanical bids here uh at 4808.25 three different times maybe that is what's called helping not causing but helping this market continue to pull, uh, move higher along with the short-term uh, momentum traders that like to move this market as well and of course you do have the FOMO folks out there uh, that are you know starting to 
feel more confident in the economy, feel more confident in the market and adding to their positions as well. So under positioned FOMOs uh, could continue to help this market bid up and continue to hit all time highs as we move forward into the end of the year. So we're going to go ahead and mark our destinations here on our 30 minute time frame. Uh, we'll mark our low of day and uh, we'll mark the afternoon pullback low. Um, we are 11 wide here in, oh, that might've been too much. Yep. That's too much zoomage. Sorry, <laughs> but we are 11 wide here at 48, 12, 50. So that means 11 out of 13 time frames traded back and forth, uh, right here at this, uh, 48, 12, 50 level. So 11 time frames. so 11 wide point of control. So that would be a very interesting point to either open above or below um, come tomorrow. And if we open below it, we'll most likely get the afternoon pullback low here at 48.0825, uh, which is our previous all time high. And then if we get below that, we'll go and test uh, the day's low down here at, at 47.9650, okay? Uh, that is today's low of day. Today's low of day right there. And I haven't been trading. Uh, no trades for me so far uh, going into the end of the year. It just hasn't. I got I to gotta get a nice little mental reset on uh, trading. So uh, come, come the new year, I'll be refreshed and ready to go start trading again uh, come the new year. So no trades for me. But I would have been participating in this pullback here uh, 100%. So we get an afternoon pullback low here. 12, 19, 23. All right. We have our 11 wide point of control. Look at this. We're trying to set new uh, new highs on the day. Trying to get a nice probe here. If we do probe, say if we move up uh, five points in the next five minutes or so, I will use the high here at 18 or 48.17 as a price probe as we are attempting to spike higher late in the time frame. So there we are back at the highs here. Let's see, you know, oh, look at that, 1775. So we're witnessing some history here as we are uh, setting all time highs. Go ahead and mark our 11 wide point of control here. I'm not gonna mark the high of day just yet as we continue to hit all time highs. Mark this. So there are your downside destinations, assuming we close up here at the highs. Uh, downside destinations are gonna be 48, 12, 50, 11 wide point of control. Your afternoon pullback low, 48, 08, 25, where we have three week lows. So there will definitely be some stops there. If we do break below that, you will go and test the day's low down here at 47, 96, 50. If we get below that, we'll come back into a balance on the daily and then your targets on the downside would be this gap i'm not expecting that as we do continue to have this grind up we are in a bullish market these are the signs of a bullish market when you have mechanical buying like that uh, so it'll be interesting to see how we go how we close out going into the end of the year and then end of the month as well uh, and then starting the new year let's see if we uh, do what we did last year, right? We opened up in January, set all-time highs in January, and then never seen that again for an entire year. So I hope that's not the case moving forward. Um, while this thing continues to creep up higher, uh, 4817, 4818.75, not quite enough for me to say it's a price probe just yet. Um, so if we move up, like I said, another three, four more points or so, uh, let's say up to 22 or 21. I would say that the, that is a price probe or a price spike right now. We're just setting new highs on the day. Uh, while this while we get come to a close here on the market, let's go ahead and look at the larger time frame, shall we? Let's go ahead and look at the larger time frame. Let's look at the monthly. Break it down from there. So monthly, one time framing up two months in a row. Uh, we officially came out of our balance here. Uh, this month, after we broke out 46.33.50, we're now setting new all-time highs 
4818 48, 48, 18, 48, 19, excuse me, as we're continuing to set new highs on the day. Uh, so right there, as you can see, we're breaking that January 2022 all time high. So it'll be very interesting to see how much more extension we get to the upside as we are just now coming out of balance in the bigger picture. OK, we've been out of balance on the weekly and on the daily for quite some time. Now let's see how much of this short right how much of these shorts are going to start getting squeezed out of this market here if they didn't cover on the way up they're most certainly covering at the all-time highs now um let's go ahead and look at the weekly weekly like i said there are no upside destinations so we are currently setting the upside destinations as we speak uh the weekly continues the one time frame up we've been one time framing up on the weekly for several weeks in a row let me see yep that is my target right there for 2024. We're not too far from it. 51.28.50 is my target from, uh, I set that back on November 21st, 23, right? That is when I just I kind of did some, some analysis and we were looking and I just, you know, 51.28.50 was my target on the upside. Look at that, 48.21.50, we're continuing to set new highs on the day coming into the close. Uh, let's go ahead and flip back to this real quick, the 30 minute time frame where we're going to mark both our price probe and our higher day as we did probe to the upside. So now we have price probe. So buyers want to open above 17 tomorrow. Okay, 48.17. Buyers want to open above. That is going to be our price probe. So we'll label this price probe, price spike. So buyers want to open above this, okay? If we come back below it, it will go down to 48, 12, 50, 11 wide point of control. So buyers want to hold above that. That would be the most positive things for buyers. Then we have today's high of day at 48, 21, 50, all time high. Absolute, <laughs> freaking incredible. Uh, love how we're setting uh, all time highs here. And not you know not participating in any of it, um, but hopefully this next year I'll you know be a lot more consistent and with my trades and be able to participate more, uh, have the confidence to participate participate more in this market. So there you have it. High day forty eight twenty one fifty. Ah uh, my I'm tripping here. Um, twenty one fifty all time high high day price probe forty eight seventeen. On the downside, 12.50, 08.25, and then the day is low at 47.96.50. So buyers want to open above 48.17. If they do not, you will trade at the 48.12 level. And if we continue to get any type of liquidation or pullback, 48.08.25 will be your next downside destination. That would be a must hold for the buyers, in my opinion. All right, let's go back to our weekly here. Not much to discuss really, but weekly, we continue to one time frame up, right? We've been one time framing up for several weeks in a row on the, from our uh, weekly. I'm not even looking at the weekly right now. Sorry. Uh, several weeks in a row now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks in a row. I did some analysis uh, Friday, I believe, and we ha had a couple different sections where we had nine weeks in a row I think was the longest time that we had um, you know from stopping the one time framing down to one time framing up continuous about nine weeks roughly a 15 to a 20 percent return and so far we've done just about that if not more I think at this point uh, if we go from the low here to our high so yeah we're right about the 16 uh, marker and then if we do you know, 16 to 20%, I think that's going to put us close to the 50 uh, or the 5,000 mark on the weekly point. So that is going to be uh, the next upside target, which is going to be 5,000, okay, from the monthly and the weekly perspective, as well as our daily perspective. Um, daily continues to one time frame up. We've been broken out of a daily for quite some time. Uh, these were the next targets that we had on the upside that we've clearly hit. Uh, there are no more upside targets as we continue to set 
all time highs here. Been one time framing up since we broke out of this balance here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days in a row. Let's see if we can continue that or will we get some type of consolidation, some type of pullback. It would not be unhealthy for the market to get some type of pullback, but with this relentless bid in the market, uh, it can continue to drive and drive up, uh, especially on this low volume. Volume today, extremely low uh, as we come into the end of the year, into the month. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for stopping by. If you are watching uh, and you made it to the end, please leave a like down below, comment something, let me know how you're doing. Uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, whenever that is. See ya.